Only a day after claiming that Trump's just about to start executing illegal immigrants, we're now getting word from these hard-hitting pro-Iran journalists that Trump apparently wants to criminalize gay people in the United States. That's really weird because I've never heard Trump or anybody around him ever even hint at such a policy. And in fact, Trump's been out there promoting a plan to pressure other countries to decriminalize homosexuality. Let me take a minute to plug our sponsors and we'll get right back to this ridiculous shit. Rib Tea is an American company that's dedicated to helping men look better and feel better so they can be at their best all day, every day. Cool nylon silk will keep you feeling cool, comfortable, and boost your confidence. If you're going to buy premium daily wear apparel, you might as well buy a high quality American made product from a company that supports free speech and supports YouTubers like yours truly. Buy now and receive 20% off most items using the promo code DRONETECH. Thank you. I've been really busy with my family and other work, so maybe I missed something. Let's just do a quick search here and... Yep, those idiots are full of shit. This ridiculous show started with Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar cheering on Iran for shooting down an American drone last week. The two of them gave their full support to the Iranian president for calling our president mentally ill. Does that surprise me? No, it doesn't surprise me at all because the left always sides with America's enemies against whoever the Republican president office is. Some good examples of this would be when the Democrats sided with the Soviet Union against Reagan, or when the Democrats sided with Islamic extremists over Bush. What did kind of surprise me was the View host Sonny Hostin disagreeing with their support of the Iranian president. So inappropriate that the Iranian president is saying yes. that the United States president is suffering from mental illness. Everybody, Everybody said, said that. She's <laughs> right. It's, 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 I don't think we should cheer the fact that a foreign government to, um, is, is talking about our president. Uh, I <laughs> I'm sorry. Does anybody look at this table and think that any of these people are playing with a full deck? These screeching harpies have been losing their minds for years over the narrative that Russia supposedly bought Facebook ads in an attempt to influence the election. Meanwhile, they're literally cheering on one of our biggest adversaries in the world for shooting down an American asset, which, by the way, an asset that was right next to an American plane holding 35 people on board. Let us not I forget don't. what's happening to gay people in this That's country. true. Think this is not, you know, something that's being thrown I, around? Yeah, it is. But that's heard that it's being it? thrown around to be illegal to be gay in the United States of America. Well, then you should well, read you some more of the you, stuff you, that, you, you, that, that you is in the newspapers. You uh, okay, I'm sorry, but what's happening to gay people in America? We're in the middle of an entire month dedicated to pride in a sexual orientation. Schools and libraries cater to these groups and even allow gay sexual fetishes to be promoted in these places in the form of drag queen story time. But why though? Seriously, even a lot of gay people have a real problem with this. Gay people now get all the benefits associated with marriage and are portrayed in the most positive light in our media. Sure, some gay people have to deal with the occasional asshole, don't we all? But there is no state sanctioned oppression of gay people in this country. Could it possibly be that Whoopi's just deranged or lying? I mean, Trump was photographed with the gay flag. He's right now pushing for decriminalization of homosexuality all over the world. Okay, all right, maybe Google's just not showing me the results that show Trump wants to criminalize gays in the US. Let's see here, Trump administration launches global effort, Trump supports Pride Month, again pledges, Trump supports Pride Month, again pledges to overturn, Trump starts campaign to end global criminalization of homosexuality, Trump administration starts campaign to end criminalization, what the hell? <laughs> Someone needs to tell Whoopi it's time to stop. She's got to be reading one of those activist newspapers that you buy from communists or socialists who don't realize they're practicing capitalism. We want a lot, a lot of the America that we miss. I like the law. Right, listen, the but states, our, our state says, well, so is, that's you know, not, marijuana laws is federal law. States say, listen, we think it's okay and we're going to go with this. It would appear that Whoopi is a drug-addled moron whose love of the law is based solely on the political expediency of that law. That's all I got for you today, folks. Please hit that like button, and if you want to support this channel further, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. You can find all the links in the description or in the pinned comment. Thank you.